Hi everyone, I hope you can see me. I've worn my brooch today because it's sparkly and I love sparklies. Anyway, I wanted to come on and say hello to everyone and speak to you briefly about Dolly. Yeah, it's Sunday so I think we need to think about Dolly. Obviously you know now that she's moved up into what she would see as an upgrade to the job she had. I don't think she realised exactly how much more work it would probably be. Well, I don't know about more, but different work and she wouldn't be any better off. Apart from the fact that she would be upstairs and not just downstairs in the kitchen. Um, it was a huge difference to her. Not much of a change of um, uniform at all, but uh, she had to be, be more on spec because there was a possibility she would be seen by more people upstairs. Um, I did jot down a few things because um, I don't have a photographic memory, but I just wanted to let you know. Obviously now she'd be doing a hell of a lot more cleaning of the family rooms. So there was more chance of her um, being with things that were more valuable. So she would have to be more careful she didn't, to break things. If anything went missing, she knew that she would be first one in firing line. Um, obviously, as I say, there's going to be more for her to do waiting on the family. So things like in the mornings getting their hot water for their wash. Because this is mainly when in Victorian times they would wash in the morning, cleaning off all the dirt from the day before. She would have to make sure the hot water was there on the nightstand ready. Um, she obviously now would have the job, very important job, of looking after the lady of the house, making sure that the lady of the house was dressed correctly, that her clothes were pressed, that everything was ready for her. She of course now would have to do ironing, sewing, uh, the fixing of the family's clothes and things like that. She would also have the job of making beds and tidying the bedrooms and of course every other room that the uh, people of the house used. She would still have to do some washing up because as you remember, sometimes the footman would lay the meals. Well, even though she would have got to wash the pans, now Dolly would have to wash the cutlery and the crockery and the china, making sure because china then was very expensive and she had to make sure that everything was in its place. You did not break something. If you broke something, it meant you was in trouble. It was her job to make sure that all the bits of china of the house were placed back in the cupboard at the end of the day. They were watched over by the butler as well. He wanted to make sure everything was back in its place. Um, at the end of the day, or part way through the day, sorry, she would have to be in the right place uh, so that the butler, because they didn't have a housekeeper, so that the butler could come and check on all the chores that had been done during the course of the three quarters of the day and make sure that they were all done properly. If anything was incorrect, if anything was out of place, she was made to go back and redo anything that had already been done. She was allowed time off in the afternoon from 2.30 now till 4 o'clock, which was longer than she had before. But of course, if there was ironing to do or, or sewing to do, mending of any kind to be done, she was required to do that in her free time, not in the working time, in her free time. Um, obviously, uh, she was there right up until late at night, just the same as before, all the time cleaning up, all the time running around after the family, never getting the chance to rest. Um, she had her meals the same time as everyone else did before. Uh, not much difference there, I guess, apart from, if you remember, she would have had to have looked after the main meal as it was cooking, but now she didn't have to. She could go and sit in the room with the other servants. Um, at the end of the day, she had to lay out everything and get it ready for the tea trays for the early morning tea, which now she took up. Somebody made, she took it up to the rooms for her master or her mistress, mainly her mistress. The master was tended obviously more so by the butler or footman, whatever. Uh, she also, at the end of the day, before everybody retired, depending on the weather, time of the year, would make hot water bottles and get them ready. Let's hope it was... Uh, not too cold most of the time because it was one extra job she didn't really need. And then by 10 o'clock she was free to do as she pleased. But when you think 10 o'clock is quite late at night so it's not as if you could go off out very far and by the end of the night she'd have been well tired anyway. Um, but she was free from then on only if the members of the house didn't need her. 
So if they were going out late or if they were coming back late, uh, if they had guests, she had to be there anyway. She had to make sure all was ready, all was clean and tidy and all was respectful. There was no just, oh, well, I'm off, end of time. Look at her watch, which I doubt she had anyway, because they were very expensive then. Um, but I expect most of her days she thought to herself, do you know what? It feels like I've jumped from the fire into, I'm sorry, from the frying pan into the fire. She wasn't no better off, apart from she was given a little bit more respect by people that knocked on the door, the back entrance, the boys that delivery boys, the, bu um, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. They gave her a little bit more respect. She was not just the scullery maid anymore. She'd gone a step up. Hopefully, she will pick up all the ideas she needs and she will work on it and she will do a damn good job because if she didn't, she wouldn't be staying there. Obviously, working with the family's things and people, she had to be on spot. There was none of this, oh, sorry, dropped it, oh, sorry, broke a plate. That wasn't on. Anyway, I better go because I expect my time will run out. But we'll hear more. Now we all know what she's got to do. Take care. Love you.